in Cape Town. Well, let's stay in the mother city, the Cape Peninsula University of Technology has launched its own space company, Amaya Space. It's hoping the company will become the first fully representative South African space enterprise. It will also soon be launching its very own nano satellite. Now, Dr. Ravel Ayer, Director of CPUT's Technology Transfer Office, is in our Cape Town studio for us this morning. Dr. Ayer, very good morning to you and thanks for your time. Uh, quite an accomplishment and I suppose well done. A pat on the back for that. It's, it's, it, it's quite a big thing, this, to launch your own space company as a University of Technology. Uh, what brought you to this point? Tell us uh, what's been the road uh, to, 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 this, uh, to such a launch. Uh, good morning and thank, me, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, so it's actually been a long journey. Uh, we've been in the space sector for a while now. Uh, it's, it's actually our second satellite that we're launching. We were the first to launch a nanosat back in 2013 and that's, that's still up there and still transmitting. Uh, and we've been developing the prototype for the new constellation for the South African market. Uh, and with the launch of the second cat satellite now in December, uh, we, we realize that we have something that has commercial value and that we actually need to take into the market and can have some impact on society. So just give, uh, for those of us who are not, uh, you know, uh, uh, science fundies and, and, and don't actually know much about the technology of all of this, what is the purpose of a nanosatellite? I mean, just, just so people know how big this is and, and what an accomplishment and, and an achievement it is. Sure. So, so a nanosatellite is slightly bigger than a Rubik's Cube. Uh, it's 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Uh, that is a single module, and you can stack them up to have three uh, units. Uh, the maximum size is three modules together. Uh, our current uh, ZD Cube 2 that we're launching in December is actually a three-unit uh, composite. Uh, and we have two payloads on that. The first, the primary payload, is looking at uh, vessel tracking. So it fits into Operation Pucky, so looking at uh, the ocean's economy. Uh, we have automatic identification systems on that, uh, which allows us to track vessels very, very easily. And then we have a second payload on that. Uh, we developed a, a, a novel camera with the CSR, and this allows us to detect fault fires um, just when they start. Okay, well, definitely, uh, I suppose, a lot of help that, that we would be able to use uh, the nanosatellite for. So you are aiming, you're setting up the company, aims to be the first truly transformed space company by Africans for Africans, it says here. And that in itself is quite an achievement. So who has been working on all of these, uh, um, uh, on all of this technology and all of these projects, Dr. Ayer? So, so we have uh, a unit called the African Space uh, Institute at CPUT. Uh, Professor Robert von Zell heads up that group. And we have a number of uh, space engineers that we train up. So what happens is that you come in as an electrical engineer and then you specialize to become a space engineer. And these students have been working hands-on on the, the radios that we develop, space radios. Uh, these space radios are being sold globally at this time. So the uptake of our radios is all over the world. Uh, they're widely accepted. Um, and so what we said beyond that is we, we're producing resources, which is the people. And we want those people to actually move into the space sector because that's what they are. They're actually space engineers. Uh, and we found that the current industry in South Africa was not uh, willing to uh, absorb them. And so we said we have the technology, we have the capability, and we have the resources. Why not go to the next step and actually set up a company and to be the first truly uh, uh, transformed company in, 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 Af in South Africa and, and we, we're looking actually to take, to be the biggest uh, space company in Africa as well. So where do we position ourselves when it comes to the rest of the world? Do we still have a lot to learn from the likes of NASA, from the Russians, or do you think we have something that we could teach them? So most certainly uh, there is a lot, in, lot of learning that we get from them. But um, in terms of our new technology that we're generating, so we have a current uh, next stage of development which looks at machine-to-machine -machine technology. Uh, this is positioning us for Industry 4.0, and this will be the next payload that we're developing for our, our third ZA Cube. Uh, this will allow, uh, if you think of a company, a uh, logistics company, it allow your, your cold storage warehouse to talk to your trucks, etc. So it allows connectivity and information to flow. And I think we will be global leaders in the field in that space. So uh, beyond being a, a South African company, we will start um, entering uh, the, the global markets with the new technologies that we're developing. Fantastic. So definitely very, um, very encouraging for, for those who want to get into this uh, sort of career, uh, Doctor. I mean, what sort of careers will it offer uh, those who want to get into it, those who are at the uh, 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 
facility at the moment, those who are at the University of Technology and those who are planning to come there? What can they be? How can they be part of the program? Sure. Um, so firstly, we're looking at engineers, uh, specifically electrical engineers, uh, and obviously we would take up mechanical engineers, and then you have to specialize. You have to actually learn uh, uh, the, the space aspects of engineering. And, and down the line, we're looking for information technologists, because uh, this, this is basically the communications industry, and there's a lot of information that's flowing. And so when we grow the, the downstream processes, it's going to be a lot of information that we're going to mine. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you very much, Dr. Revel Ayer, Director of CPUT's Technology Transfer Office in our Cape Town studio for us this morning. Now,